right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this does, young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that, actually. You are? Oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. He's the parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach out. We're done reaching out. We're going to rely on the good folks there in Vienna. I've never been there, but I will be going there to be doing an update video based on your comments coming down back. below. We want to turn this into coming a, a, a like Reddit-type feel. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Together, where those top golf courses are. Swinging into number five, we'll leave the name of the course down at the bottom left-hand corner. Colony Golf Club, a 4.7 with 252 golf reviews to choose from. There's two 18-hole golf courses here. So you have the East Course and you got the West Course. Both are considered to be top destinations. The 36-hole facility, Golf Digest, has rated this one of the top destinations in the country year in and year out. Semi-private, the longer of the two stretches, 6,483 meters with a slope of 133 and a rating of 74.6. It was built in two, 1990, had some updates in 2008 and 2012, and built and designed by Kurt Rusgernick. It's now going to leave us with four more courses to take a look at in this wonderful area, swinging in to number four, 4.4 4 out of five on Google with 520 five golf reviews to choose from this is again one of the better golf courses in the country and maybe even deserves to be higher on this list it's semi-private for a par 70 stretching 5614 meters built one year later than the prior one in 1991 by granite harris it's one of the top destinations it has a driving range right there and other amenities you can see it's pretty nice little layout it's tight it gets the job done just like this list trying to find some of those courses you're probably looking to play some golf in this area good luck because we are hoping to play golf there too and we are relying on people to write comments that are from that area we're not the best this is an independent opinionated list swinging in to number three four point six out of five on Google with 240 golf reviews to choose from. This golf club feels private. It's considered the best golf course by the country's main golf outlet, Australian Golfers. And it's opened in 1989. Since then, it stretches a total. They got the castle there. You know, you, there's just a lot of amenities. It's the top 100 golf course year in and year out by major golf outlets. It's public, it's Parkland style, and it was built in 1989, as mentioned by Kirk Russ Urnick. It's leaving us now with just two more courses, believe it or not, to take a look at in this area. Dropping the number two course here, we want to definitely put a plug in that we rely on the comment section down below to turn this into more of a Reddit type feel. If you're thinking that we missed a course, or you're wondering where a course is, just let us know down there. Moving us now into number two, 4.8 out of 450 golf reviews to choose from. It's definitely one of the most prestigious golf courses, or at least scenic golf courses from golf outlets like Golf Magazine. It's the championship course that you're going to want to play, one of the most beautiful golf courses, it says, quote unquote, when it was first built. Now, if you played this course, you know how special it is because it stretches a total of 5,919 meters with a slope of 137 and a rating of 73.6. The course was built in 1995 by Jeff Howells and then leaves us now with only one more course here to take a look at in this wonderful area. We do rely on also growing this channel so hit the subscribe button after your comment leaving us with number one we have a 4.4 out of 450 golf reviews to choose from on google people write a lot of comments when they play courses out this way it's not like that in the united states i tell you what this is a top 100 in the country and also in Europe, in some golf magazines, it's a hidden gem from Golf Magazine. It's a resort, so it's open to the public. 
and it's 6,738 meters with a SOPA 140 and a rating of 71.6. It was built in 1994 by Duck Carrick, and it still looks like one of the coolest golf courses I think I've ever seen. You would think it's private, but at least from what we're reading, that's not the case. That's going to do it for our list as we try to find some of the best golf courses around the world. Think about joining the journey with us with the Parfester. We keep everything simple, fun, and exciting. We don't waste your time, and we don't want to waste mine. That's going to do it for our list. Keep a lookout for more videos to come. The Parfester is out.